so I got the so I got the president on the phone. Hello, Mr. President, are you there? Jimmy D, this is POTUS Prime. Hey, how you doing, Mr. President? Good to have you on the show. Thanks for taking the call. Yo, Jimmy, I thought we were going to hang out. The other week I was in California, or as we Democrats call it, cala <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in Silicon Valley and Bel Air. And... You know, I, I know you didn't go. You didn't go to Watts or Oakland. Or... Why would I? I can't stand black people either. What? Mr. Pre- oh. Mr. President? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Okay. All but Jimmy, right. why didn't you come backstage? I could have introduced you to my Secret Service guys. They're like road comics. In fact, I bet you all know the same waitresses. And listen, I'm sorry I wasn't able to make it out. Uh, you know, $1,000 and plate dinners kind of give me indigestion, Mr. President. It's a good deal. You get to keep the plates. Okay, great. Listen, <laughs> listen. I saw that photo op you did for Walmart. Walmart. Gross, Mr. President. I was there to praise Walmart's environmental business policies. Think of all the trees they save by not giving their employees a living wage. That's a lot of green. Oh, that's... Uh, I, okay, I guess I see what you're saying. Did you see my big foreign policy speech about Afghanistan? Uh, yes, I did see your Afghanistan speech. I did. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. It seemed like a lot of vagaries, a lot of contradictions, a lot of non sequiturs. What, are you speaking Latin? What? <laughs> yeah, great, wasn't it? No, 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 no. So are we really getting out of Afghanistan? Afghans have to be able to determine their own future. That's why we've been occupying their country for the last 13 years. Wow. You know, it's kind of unbelievable we've been fighting in Afghan for 13 years. Well, we had to stay there until we achieved our objectives. What, what, what are our objectives in Afghanistan? Dan Devano. Uh-huh. When people like you voted for me for change... I interpret it as wanting to stay another eight years fighting in the Middle East. <laughs> you know, that's kind of the exact opposite of what I wanted when I voted for you. Jimmy, nobody but you thinks this is a big deal. Really? If I hadn't said anything, nobody would have remembered we're still in Afghanistan. Probably. Fox News turned away in the middle of my speech because I didn't mention Benghazi. Okay, you know, some people are saying you forwarded a new philosophy on foreign policy for America in that speech. We want the other countries of the world to step up. And on their own initiative, start illegal wars that last for decades. <laughs> okay. That, that, uh, you see that doesn't sound good, right? Don't worry. The president still has the power to imminent threat our way into invading any place we want. And we still got to drone strike Muslims in other countries who make too many YouTube videos. Well, what about everything else going on, Mr. President? Are you going to fight? Are you really going to fight for stricter gun controls finally? Are you going to fight? Um, well... Uh, and the stuff John uh, Kerry, what about the stuff John Kerry said about Edward Snowden? What about net neutrality, Mr. Jimmy, I assure you that you'll find nobody more neutral about net neutrality than me. Yeah, that's the problem. Think of me as Switzerland in 1942. Uh, Brock, can you see why you're so frustrating to people like me? Oh, you know you can't stay mad at me. Come on, Jimmy. Jimmy, who's your president? Mm-mm. Who's your president? Mm-mm. Who's your president? You're my president, Mr. President. That's right. You got to trust your president. <laughs> you got to understand that I'm playing the long game. Yeah, well, you sure played the long game in Afghanistan. That's for sure. Speaking of long, this call is going a little long. Mm-hmm. I should go. I need to save my cell phone minutes. The president of the United States needs to save his cell phone minutes. Are you serious? I got a phone plan that screws me with international calls. Oh, okay. International. I got it. The Prime Minister of Uganda is always calling. Wanted to talk about the latest episode of Game of Thrones. Okay, Mr. President, I'm going to let you go. All right? Barack, go bye-bye. Peace okay. out. Okay, peace out. That was President Obama, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, President, for calling.